Hello my friend, my name is Paul Hutchings and I am so excited to be here with you today. This training presentation is entitled, The Only Way to Guarantee Your Stable Long-Term Success in the Home Business Industry. And I truly do mean what this line implies. What we're going to cover in this presentation is the only way to guarantee that you'll be successful in your home-based business and that your success will be stable and it will be long term in the industry regardless of whatever else happened regardless of what happens in the marketplace regardless of what happens in the company regardless of whatever happens by following and applying and implementing the information we're going to be covering today you can literally guarantee your success and I know that's a big promise stick with me uh, you're gonna see by the end of this presentation that this information does deliver and it absolutely can give you what we're talking about here on this slide and so much more okay so my friend want to just share with you a quick little metaphor you are right here right now with this this point in time me giving this presentation you staring into your computer screen looking at the slides listening to the sound of my voice maybe even relaxing a little bit as you let whatever worries whatever stresses you have in life just drift completely away from you and you might even be in a point where you've shut the door you might even pull out your cell phone and turn it off and you're looking at this door right in front of you and again the information that I'm gonna share with you today right now is going to be like you having the opportunity to walk, open down, reach down your hand, grab that doorknob, open up the door, and walk through the door to a whole new life. And it might even be, you might even be in a situation in your life right now where maybe you've been stumbling around a little bit. Maybe it's dark in the room. Maybe there's some stuff on the floor that you've tripped over and stumbled. And, you know, maybe it's a little bit musty. Uh, your room's dark and, and this door that you open, that you reach down and open, you look through the door and not only is it bright, but it's almost like you're walking out onto this white sandy beach. You've got the rays of sunshine just coming down from the sky, uh, hitting your body as you walk through the door. Uh, everything is beautiful. Everything is uh, lum illuminated. And it's just that much better. Again, that's what the pa that's that's the power of the information we're going to cover today. It literally is like walking out of a dark room into a lighted room where everything is different, everything is better, everything works. And again, I'm really pumping this up, aren't I? I mean, I'm really. Uh, it, it's, it might even sound like I'm over promising a little bit, right? But I guarantee you, as 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 uh, illustrative and as excited as I might sound. I'm actually under promising what this information has the power to do. So I want to invite you to focus, tune in, stick with me over the next few minutes. We're going to start to change your life in a major way, my friend. So just real quick, I want to share with you a little bit about me. I actually live in southeast Idaho. Uh, I'm married. I have four children. And this is actually a picture of my wife, my beautiful wife and I, on our wedding day. And... Uh, I have this uh, caption here, not the sharpest groom in the shed, because it's kind of a funny little story about me and my wife. We had actually just gotten married, and we just barely walked out of getting married, and we were standing there, and we had all of our family snapping photos, and I leaned over to my wife, and I said, honey, you need some breath spray, and I reached in my pocket, and I pulled out this breath spray, and she wasn't ready for it, and I shot her in the face, and just at that moment in time, somebody snapped a picture, we were both laughing, and... And I, and I write not the sharpest groom in the shed because you don't want to tell your wife she needs breath spray on, <laughs> on your wedding day. But it was the first day on the job, and my wife has since forgiven me for that. I do love my wife. We have a very happy marriage, and she is just so supportive and could not do what I do without, without her. Uh, we have four little boys, six, four, two, and uh, actually our youngest is about one now. Uh, so four little boys. And I want to tell you just a little bit of my story because it directly relates with what we're going to talk about today. And um, um, it, uh, it, it's, it's powerful. I call it the miracle money story because here's basically what happened to me. I had been endeavoring to make money from home for about six, seven years. Okay, So I had this dream of making a great income 
from home. I wanted a residual income. I wanted to not have to have a job. I wanted to have freedom. I wanted to be able to own my own life. Uh, any of this sound familiar? Odds are you're in a situation where you have some of these same dreams, hopes, and goals. So at the er, in early 2010, I was struggling. I had actually joined uh, 13 different companies. And in early 2010, none of them were working. I had quit my job because I, you know, I was trying to figure out why why I wasn't able to make money. And I said to my wife, maybe it's because we've got a job. I said, let me quit my job and let's see what we can do. So at the first part of 2010, I had actually, I'd been, I'd been unemployed for six months because I quit my job in June of 2009. So first part of 2010. A um, couple of things happened, a couple of pivotal moments that changed my life dramatically forever. And I want to share with you uh, how that looked and, and what happened and the situation that I was in and r literally where most of the information or a lot of it that I'm going to share with you today, where it came from. It's almost magical. It's almost miraculous. And we talk about, sometimes we talk about magical moments where, uh, you know, you have this point in your life where, Everything is lined up just right, and circumstances are just right. Uh, the right people in your are are in your life. Uh, maybe you receive a phone call from the right person at the right time. There's just these situations that sometimes happen where, um, from one moment, everything is different from you for you. For, for from that point forever, everything changes from that one little thing that happened. And had that not had that one experience not happened. Uh, you wouldn't have all the changes come into your life that, that, that maybe will come. So I had one of these experiences. I was broke, had a few hundred dollars a month coming into my uh, bank account. I was living in this 1984 single-wide trailer house. It was actually a Fleetwood Vogue with the white skirting around the bottom. And, and uh, we were living on my grandfather's land. So this land with the trees, this was actually taken in the wintertime. Uh, my, my grandfather owned this land. We didn't even own the land. So here I am not making money in my home-based business, struggling, wondering, what am I going to do? I remember uh, w there was actually an experience where I was working in my office one day trying to figure out this home business stuff, and my wife took our third son. This was in Jan in uh, January of 2010. Our third son, Kaisen, she she took she'd taken him to the doctor for his two week checkup. And I'm sitting there in my little office with the brown paneled walls on my little laptop, trying to figure out how to make this stuff work. And I hear my wife come home, and I get up from my desk and I walk out in the living room, and my wife has tears in her eyes. And I said, "Honey, what's wrong?" And she said. Um, and she proceeded to tell me that Kaisen, our third son, had a condition called craniosynostosis where um, <clears throat> he was going to have to have a surgery because the bones in his head were fused together. And when you're a baby, they're not supposed to be fused together. They're supposed to be separated. And as you grow, they then fuse together. Well, his were already fused together. So if he didn't have the surgery, his head would be misshapen. There might be some challenges with mental development, so on and so forth. And so the bottom line was, my wife says, we're going to have to take him down to Primary Children's Hospital. It's going to be a $50,000 surgery. And she's just in tears because we have this brand new precious little baby who's facing this major ordeal. And we are in a situation where we're living in a trailer house, jobless, few hundred dollars a month coming in. Things aren't working. You can imagine my wife's frustration and, and, and fear. And I remember hugging my wife and I said, honey, I took her in my arms. I said, honey, it's, it's going to be okay. But you know what the truth uh, really was? I didn't know if it was going to be okay. As a matter of fact, right along that same time frame, uh, I was tucking my two oldest boys, Caden and Camden, in bed one night. I just read them their bedtime stories. They're laying there in bed, two precious little angels. And, uh, and uh, they'd fallen asleep. And I remember looking at their two angelic little faces, and it hit me that I did not know if I was going to be able to provide for my children. I didn't know where the money was going to come to feed them. I didn't know where the money was going to come to put clothes on their back. I was failing as a provider, and I did the only thing that I knew how to do. I knelt down at the side of their beds, and I literally cried out to God for help. I said a prayer. I don't know if you've ever been in a point in your life where 
nothing is working and you're doing everything that you can possibly think of and things just aren't working and you need an answer outside of yourself well that's where I was in the first part of 2010 so I nailed down I said that prayer and some miracles came into my life some inspiration uh, some ideas some technology that I'm gonna share with you on this webinar on this training video that changed everything for me and will can has the potential to change everything for you as well and again the stuff I'm gonna share with you if you get it everything will work and if you don't get it nothing will work okay so I go from struggling being broken that trailer house to being inspired while I was living in this trailer house to pick up a book that I had read several times before and this book is called think and grow rich you may have heard of it maybe you've never heard of it it doesn't really you may have read the book several times like I had to that point in time it, none of that matters here's what matters I was inspired I got this inspiration I believe in answer to my spirit of wanting to to know to understand to figure out what I was missing, why things weren't working, and I got this inspiration, and this inspiration said, Paul, you need to pick up the book Think and Grow Rich, and you need to begin a serious study. And when it tells you to do something, you need to fold down the corner of the pages, and you need to do it, and you need to apply what this book is teaching. So a couple of things this book teaches to do, one of the first action steps, um, and by the way, let me give you just a little bit of a background on this book. Uh, Andrew Carnegie, in the early part of 1900s, I believe it was like 1908, he was the world's richest man, financially speaking. And Andrew Carnegie thought that it was a tragedy that all of these people who had learned how to accumulate money, they had learned the laws, the secrets, the principles, the truths, the formula, so to speak. There were these men, himself included, and other people that he knew that had figured this stuff out. He thought, what a tragedy it is that these people die and this information is not compiled in a place where people, average people, unborn generations, can find it, access it, and apply it in their lives. And so Andrew Carnegie challenge Napoleon Hill who at that point in time was a young man I believe he was about 20 or his early 20s to spend to invest 20 years of his life meeting with Andrew Carnegie and 500 of the world's richest people and researching and and assimilating and grabbing these principles this formula and putting it down in a book and so that's what Dr. Napoleon Hill did he spent 20 years finding the formula for success and putting it in a book so that we could all, anyone who wants to, could pick up the book. Anyone who's willing to make a serious study could pick up the book, find the principles, apply them, and become financially free. So first part of 2010, I'm broke. I'm praying. I'm trying to figure out the answers. I figure, what the heck? You know, this has got to be worth it. So I, this is actually a picture of the exact copy of the book that I started studying and when I say I made it my companion look at the book look at how bent the pages are in fact look at the bottom part of the book you see how there's actually pages falling out this is what I did to this book as I made a serious uh, commitment to understand this book and apply it like I had never done before and literally Miracles happen. Here's what happened. I'm going to skip over here. I had a breakthrough. Um, and actually, let me tell a little bit about the breakthrough. One of the action steps that Napoleon Hill teaches us to do in this book is to set a major definite purpose and then also write that major definite purpose down. And he gives us, he, he actually gives us in the book the text for how to set that. And the major definite purpose, really, it's becoming crystal clear on what you want in life and let me give you a suggestion um, this doesn't necessarily mean you have to figure out your life's meaning and purpose and all this you know that sometimes that trips people up they think major definite purpose and they think well gosh you know how am I gonna come up with my life's mission right now uh, you're thinking a little bit too heavy if you're thinking along those lines major definite purpose is just a clear intention for what you want to have happen and in the home business industry in the home business profession 
one of the first things that I believe we should all have, especially if we're just getting started, is a major definite purpose of a financial number that will allow you to break free. You know, Robert Kiyosaki in the book Rich Dad Poor Dad says one of your very first goals is to get out of the rat race. And the way you do that is you figure out your monthly expenses and then that's the number that you want to get uh, you want to get your passive income or your residual income or your business income to hit that that ex that monthly expense number because once that happens you are now free you're out of the rat race you no longer have to have a job you no longer have to uh, work put in time for your money because your passive income is hitting that number so for me for six years my goal was three thousand dollars a month because that was the number that was the expense number if I could hit that number in residual income I could be free financially so when we talk about the major definite purpose give you a little bit of guidance and the guidance came from Robert Kiyosaki how much are your expenses and that's probably a really great place to start for a major definite purpose because if you can get that number coming into your life on a residual basis you're now out of the rat race you're financially free and now you can focus on what you really want to do in life so your major definite purpose by the first day of you put in a date I will have in my possession you put in a number and then you continue to fill out the form there's another part here that says what capacity are you going to render service in and that can be internet marketer, it can be network marketer, it can be internet network marketing coach. Whatever capacity you see yourself rendering service in, that's what you want to fill in uh, in that line. And then it has another paragraph down below. I'm not going to go into that. That's the first part of one of the first action steps that Dr. Napoleon Hill told me to take when I read that book. And, and he tells all of us to take when we read the book. So set a major definite purpose. Second thing is a self-confidence formula. And he says you should on a daily basis, twice daily, read aloud your major definite purpose and your self-confidence formula. And I, I'm not going to go through all of this. There's actually going to be a document down below this video where you can print this off and you can read through it yourself. And, and we've got some great support for the team where you can learn this stuff. Uh, over time and better understand it so I'm not gonna go all the way through it right now I'm just gonna tell you what happened when I started doing this I had a major breakthrough this is actually a picture of my driveway that you know is on my grandpa's land this this big long driveway that goes down to my trailer house well here's what I did I set that major definite purpose I set that self-confidence formula and I actually recorded my own voice uh, repeating the self-confidence formula and the major definite purpose and I actually even added in some little bit of relaxing music I use some binaural tones you, you really don't have to understand that right now the bottom line is that I went out in my driveway and on a nightly basis here I was broke you know family needing some serious financial assistance uh, the situation that I've described and I would walk out in this driveway in the first part of 2010 and I would look up at the stars in the sky and I would have my headphones on and I would hit play and as I was listening to my own voice I would repeat the words aloud and I would say by the first day of January 2011 I will have in my possession three thousand dollars monthly residual income which will come to me in uh, various amounts from time to time during the interim and I would go through this major definite purpose in the self-confidence formula I would do it every night walking out in my driveway for weeks and weeks and then it turned into month after month after month and it took a it took a few months uh, for for this for these changes to start coming over me here's what happened when I did this as I was repeating this stuff aloud on a nightly basis I didn't know it at first what was happening I was just going on faith that Dr. Napoleon Hill and Andrew Carnegie the richest man on the earth knew what they were talking about but here's what started to happen my faith in my number started to go up and up and up where when I first said it it was just kind of a hope I hoped that I could get there but as I went through this major definite purpose in the self-confidence formula my faith started to it started to grow into a knowledge whereas I repeated those words again and again as I repeated them with passion it turned from hope to a knowledge where I knew 
that that number, that major definite purpose that I was visualizing in my mind was actually already mine. And all I had to do was perform the service necessary to make that happen. My faith in myself started to rise to where in the beginning I was scared. I was fearful. I didn't know if it was going to work. I hoped it would, but gosh, I've been trying so many things for so long. I didn't know if it wor would work. So as I started to repeat this major definite purpose and the self-confidence formula, my faith in myself started to rise and I started to when I was walking down this driveway maybe my shoulders were a little bit drooped down and and my head was looking down at the ground but over time as I did this my head started to hold itself a little bit higher my shoulders stepped back a little bit and I started to say with more and more confidence the words that were coming out of my mouth and I started to feel this power Napoleon Hill in the book Think and Grow Rich calls faith the eternal elixir. I literally felt this eternal elixir start to permeate my soul and permeate my very being to where what happened was this, this faith came into my life. I took action and I took action and I took action. And within just a couple of months, that number that I'd been seeing in my mind came into my life and I was like, this is a miracle. I have the money that I've been seeing. And then what happened? It kept going up and up and up. I started getting more and more and more checks. The numbers started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The money kept pouring in. So I went from a point where I was little, literally broke, no money, scared, family to support, living in a trailer house, to where now I have more money coming in my life on a daily basis that it's almost con or daily and monthly basis it's almost a little bit confusing <laughs> because I'm like well, you know now what do I do I'm free right that's the power of what can come from the information that I'm going to share with you in this presentation have shared with you up to this point and the and the information I'm going to share with you from this point moving forward that's part of the power um, and you know actually yeah I'll share with you some of the other stuff here moving on um, all of this stuff, uh, along with masterminding with other leaders, led me to this formula that I want to share with you. And it's basically the formula for success. It's the formula for getting any type of result you want to have in your life. And that formula is mindset plus skill set times performance equals results. You want to write this down. You want to memorize this. Because whatever your result is, let, you know, let's, I want to ask you, right? What is your result? What is your major definite purpose? What is that number that you, that you have set for yourself to where when you hit that number on a residual basis, you'll be out of the rat race. You can quit your job. You won't have to worry about the bills. What's that number for you? Well, that's the result. And that's what you want to plug in on the very far right hand side of that formula. So in order to get that result into your life, you've got to apply the formula. And the formula is mindset. What are we talking about here on this presentation? Really, we're talking about mindset, and that is literally um, magnetizing your mind to be success conscious, changing your beliefs, uh, lifting yourself up, growing as a person. That's mindset, and that's the first part of the equation. It's developing your philosophy, okay? The second part is skill set. The skills are the, the things that you're going to learn as you plug into leaders within this community, uh, as, as you get on webinars, as you you know go to conference calls, uh, as you take action, you're going to learn the marketing, you're going to learn the prospecting, you're going to learn the you know the how tos. That's that's all skill set. But you don't have success without both mindset and skill set. And then obviously taking taking your mindset, your skill set, performing, actually taking action, that equals results. And it's kind of like riding a bike. That's why I have this picture up here on the screen where on a bike, when you get on a bike, mindset, if you can think of it as the left pedal and skill set as the right pedal, the more you push down on the left pedal or the more you build your mindset, the more you grow in your philosophy, the more you increase your faith, the more you uh, get your beliefs in alignment with what's possible uh, in your life instead of what's not possible and what's lacking and what's limiting. The more you increase that, more you push down on that pedal, the more it's going to lift your skill set up. And the more, you're, the more you increase your skill sets and you take action, it's going to lift your mindset up. So the mindset and the skill set equation is literally like riding a bike where 
it's, you know, you're pushing down on one, raising the other, pushing down on the other, raising the other. And the more and more and more you pedal this bike, the easier and easier and easier it gets. It's kind of like, you know, I, I imagine this big mountain in front of me. And when you're starting out up the mountain, pushing the mindset and pushing the skill set, it might be a little bit difficult at first because you're going uphill and you're like, man, this is, you know, it's kind of hard to, to ride this bike. This formula is, it's a little bit difficult and you're going uphill. Well, what happens when you get to the top of the hill? Because eventually you will get to the top of the hill. Then what happens? Now you can go down the hill, go down the mountain and you're going to go you're going to go like light speed down the mountain. And that's the point that you will get to, you can get to, if you stay the course um, and and commit to developing your mindset, your skill set, performing, taking action. You'll get to that point where you get to the top of that mountain and then everything becomes easy for you. To where, again, you know, a personal example from my life, I struggled for six years to generate that $3,000 a month. Then I hit that $3,000 a month, and then what happened? I'm going to the bank, and I'm like, you know, laying out all these checks and taking cool pictures and getting a, you know, $25,000 check and a $7,000 check, and money's coming like crazy. I'm on the downhill side of that mountain to where the mindset and the skill set is now easier and easier and easier, and it's compounding, it's compounding, it's compounding. So, uh, write this formula down because it's powerful. Uh, and this presentation, by the way, in case you haven't figured, we're teaching you how to develop a strong mindset, okay? Teaching you how to develop a strong mindset. So in talking about mindset, you've got to ask, what is mindset? Well, mindset consists of a few things. Your mental attitude is part of it. There's a major part of mindset that we have to talk about if we're going to talk about mindset, and that is belief. So what is a belief? A belief is an idea that you believe to be true. Uh, does it have to be true for you to believe it? No, you can believe things that are not true, but if you believe them to be true, that is a belief for you. Why do you need to know what a belief is? How powerful are beliefs? Well, the reason I'm bringing this up in this presentation is because beliefs, um, whether you know it or not, control every aspect of your life. And one of the most amazing stories I've ever heard that illustrates uh, very succinctly and precisely how powerful beliefs are is the story of Maxwell Maltz. I want to tell you about this guy named Maxwell Maltz. Maxwell Maltz was a plastic surgeon. He had devoted his life uh, to learning surgery and, and plastic surgery and helping fix uh, de you know, uh, uh, deformations and, and, uh, inconsistencies and problems with people's faces, right? So he's a plastic surgeon. Well, Maxwell Maltz noticed something that was fascinating to him. And basically what he noticed was when Maxwell Maltz would, you know, people would come to him and say, you know, my nose is too big. Please fix it. Or my ears are too big. They're like a taxi cab with the doors open. Can you, can you make them smaller? And Maxwell Maltz would, perform the surgery and do whatever these people wanted him to do, you know, to them to fix whatever problems they perceived to have. And here's the fascinating thing that Maxwell Maltz noticed. Maxwell Maltz noticed that in some cases when he did the surgery, the person, their personality within about 21 days would completely change. They would go from being shy, reserved, uh, introverted, uh, lacking in self-confidence, and he would do this surgery, and within 21 days, they would be outgoing, they'd be positive, they'd be energetic, people would want to be around him all the time, and so he noticed that, and he's like, well, that makes sense, you know, this, this, this thing that they perceived to be a problem with their appearance was holding them back, but here's the fat, here's the real fascinating thing, is he noticed there was another group of people, the other group of person was the person who would go through this surgery, and 21 days would go by and this person would continue to be shy, introverted, lacking in self-confidence, lacking in social poise. And they would even come back to Maxwell Maltz and they would say, hey, my nose is still big. And he'd say, what are you talking about? Here's a before picture. Here's an after picture. Your nose is completely different. All of your friends and family say you're beautiful. And that person would still refuse to see their beauty. They would still say, no, it's too big. I still look terrible. So Maxwell Maltz was so perplexed by this. He's like, what in the world is happening here? So he started delving into the field of psychology because he wanted to understand 
what was happening with his people. And long story short, here's what he discovered. He discovered that each of us, uh, each of us as individuals, we have this thing in our brains called our self-image. And this is basically the way we perceive ourselves to be. It's our mental blueprint. It is a set of beliefs Okay, what's a belief, an idea that you believe to be true? So the self-image is a set of beliefs of how we see ourselves. And what Maxwell Maltz realized was that in some cases, the surgery would alter these beliefs, where these beliefs would now become empowering, where they would see that these people would see themselves as beautiful and, you know, see themselves in a positive light. But in other cases, for whatever reason, the surgery would not alter the person's mental picture or the beliefs that they had about themselves. So Maxwell Maltz, he wrote a book. It's called Psycho-Cybernetics. I recommend you check it out and make a study of it at some point in your personal development journey. It's a powerful book, but the bottom line, the reason I share with you the story is because the beliefs that you have about yourself, about money, about what you can and what you can't do, whether you know it or not, they are, they are, uh, they're giving you a scope of what's possible for you in your life. And you will never ever outperform your beliefs. You know, go back to this first slide. Tony Rush, he's a $50,000 monthly earner in our home based business industry. And he said, you will never consistently outperform your mindset. Well, what does that have to do with the story we just talked about? Mindset is a set of beliefs about yourself, about what you can do, about your business, about uh, you know, about money. That's another 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 big one. You know, what are your beliefs about money? And you, these beliefs set up limitations that we have that we might not even know about. So when we're when we're talking about mindset, one of the things that we're really working on doing is locating limiting beliefs and replacing them with empowering beliefs. So that being said, it's important to understand how beliefs are formed. And I want to share with you just a couple of things here real quick. Um, I read this on Wikipedia. Wikipedia wrote, the primary thrust of the advertising industry is that repetition forms beliefs, as do associations of beliefs with images of sex, love, and other strong positive emotions. And Anthony Robbins, when he teaches about beliefs, he gives a great metaphor. And he says beliefs, it's like a belief is just an idea. And that idea starts out as a tabletop with no legs. And then what happens is, as we repeat that idea again and again, we start to locate experiences from our lives that, that back up that belief. And what happens, he calls them reference points. Uh, where if you have an idea that, you know, um, uh, people don't like me or, or, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not, I'm not good in social interactions, that it starts out as an idea. It's a tabletop and it starts out as an idea, but when you continue to repeat this idea over and over to yourself, what happens is you'll start to find evidence in your life of experiences where you're not poised in social situations and you'll start to put these legs under that idea that tabletop to where that idea will go from being just an idea uh, will we'll start to turn into a rock-solid belief that will then transform your life and you know Wikipedia as I mentioned says the advertising industry knows that to form beliefs repetition is a very key strategy and you know you got these advertisers out there working on manipulating people's beliefs and forming beliefs through repetition through repetition through repetition well i asked when i started learning this stuff i asked myself you know if there are people out there that are working on forming my beliefs isn't wouldn't it be important for me to know how to form my own beliefs rather than just walk around like a zombie being controlled and pushed and shifted from one place to another, you know, based on companies and advertisers. So that's where I started to delve into this, this uh, study of what is a belief, you know, how powerful is it and how do I form it? How do I form beliefs that are empowering to me? And then you add on to that what happened to me with that experience of following what uh, Dr. Napoleon Hill taught me to do, which is repeat my major definite purpose every day, repeat the self-confidence formula, which is basically beliefs 
about myself that are empowering. Notice it. Notice it. Notice a similarity there. Advertising industry knows that if they repeat ideas over and over and over again, people will accept them as a belief. Dr. Napoleon Hill teaches us that if we repeat an idea over and over and over, we'll eventually accept it as a belief. This is programming ourselves to actually stand up, take control of our lives, and decide what beliefs we're going to have so that we can be empowered. Okay. So there's one other thing I've got to share with you on this topic of belief. And uh, uh, it's something that... Uh, that uh, ties right in line with forming beliefs and how they're formed and so on and so forth. It's this little piece of your brain, um, and it, this is kind of like a, you know, a side trivia note, but it's helpful in understanding that this stuff we're talking about and the technology that I'm going to share with you here in a little bit is not hocus pocus. Uh, because sometimes we think about you know, affirmations and repeating the major definite purpose and the self-confidence formula. We look at that and we're like, you know, oh, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna talk to myself. That's kind of nerdy, you know. Oh, look at that guy. He's talking to himself. He's, you know, telling himself he's good and he's smart and he's funny. You know, what a nerd. You know, we we have these kind of ideas associated with this stuff. So it's important to share a little bit of science, I think, with with you and a little bit of psychology, so that you'll understand. A little bit more of how the brain works and when you understand a little bit more of how the brain works you'll see that this stuff we're going through and this piece of technology I'm going to share with you can have a dramatic impact in your life so there's a there's a part of your brain called the reticular formation and this reticular formation uh, it's also called the reticular activating system. There's a number of names for it but basically bottom line what this is is it's a part of your brain that acts as a filtering device and what it does is it lets information into your life that is pertinent and it filters out information that is not pertinent. And if we didn't have this filtering device, then we would literally have all of this information coming to our consciousness and our awareness at one time. And there's actually a mental illness that's related to uh, a defunct... Uh, uh, a uh, reticular formation that's not working and what happens is the reticular formation doesn't work and so all this information comes at these people all at one time they can't focus and they actually uh, go mentally insane so it's a it's a filtering device and what happens with this reticular formation is we can activate it so that it will let in information that is pertinent to what we've activated it to pay attention to and a great example of this is um, you know, if you, if you can think back to a time maybe when you bought a car, uh, like I'll, I'll share with you an experience of mine. Uh, I bought a, a few years ago, I bought a green Honda Civic. And before I bought this green Honda Civic, I didn't, I never noticed them. As a matter of fact, I remember going to the car lot and seeing this car. It was, it was nice and shiny. It was two doors, a little sporty. And I thought, man, this is a beautiful car. I've never seen anything like this. I bought the car and would you know it? But after I bought the car, Everywhere I looked, I see green Honda Civics just like mine. Have you had that experience? Well, did the number of Honda Civics increase because I bought one? No. What happened was my reticular activating system was not activated to pay attention to uh, green Honda Civics. And so it was filtering all that information out. Once I bought the car, started to let that information in. So that's how the reticular formation works. Well, what does this have to do with how beliefs are formed? When we start to pay attention and repeat the beliefs that we want to form within our own mind, the reticular activating system starts to become aware of support material for that belief. And so what happens is we, we choose the belief, we're aware of it, we repeat it over time through auto-suggestion, like Dr. Napoleon Hill teaches us in the book Think and Grow Rich, and we start to find reference points for that belief. Uh, so like uh, one of my beliefs is, and I'll share with you a little bit more as we go through this presentation, one of the beliefs that I started working on is money comes easily to me. I started to say that to myself on a daily basis. I started to repeat it. My reticular activating system was open to look for ways and means where money came easily to me. 
and I started to find little experiences where I'd make money here, I'd make money there, and I'd say that was easy. And these reference points started to back up this belief of money comes easily to me, where now I have this belief that money comes easily to me. And I just do things that bring money into my life automatically because it's a belief that I have taken the time to form. So those are beliefs. That's a little bit of how powerful beliefs are. And it leads you to the technology that I want to share with you that I kind of put together uh, from the study of Think and Grow Rich, seeing what happened in my life from that, uh, the study of Psycho-Cybernetics from Maxwell Maltz, and, and just some other things that I had learned about relaxation and, and binaural you know, tones. Uh, that's what I mentioned earlier on in the presentation. Bottom line, I put together this, this technology for causing continuous improvement uh, in my life on a daily and consistent basis. And basically what it is is I developed what I like to call the personal manifesto. And what is the personal manifesto? Well, it starts out, and I want you to get this, the core of the document, the core of the document, and if you start out with just the core and do nothing else, that's fine, that's great, that's wonderful, it'll work incredibly for you, and it can develop over time if you allow it to develop over time. So the core of this document is the major definite purpose in the self-confidence formula laid out by Dr. Napoleon Hill. So I'm, I'm actually going to pull up my personal manifesto. Uh, this is a PDF document, personal manifesto for Paul Hutchings. And you'll see that what I did in the first part of my personal manifesto is, uh, you know, I, I go through some relaxation exercises. I say, you know, Take a deep breath, relax, hold it in, exhale through your mouth, clear away your thoughts, feelings in your body. And the reason I do that is because I realize that um, there's there's value in uh, you know hypnosis. It's a it's a, it's a science. Uh, it, it works for a lot of people. And basically, one of the things that's happening with hypnosis is you're relaxing your conscious mind so that you can access your subconscious mind with a little bit more ease, and you can maybe access those beliefs. A little bit easier and that's where the binaural tones comes in if you want to record this over binaural tones it'll help you relax a little bit you don't have to do that but it's just a thing that I thought would help and I applied it and it did help so you can do that uh, just another way to apply this auto suggestion stuff but basically my personal manifesto starts off with relaxing myself a little bit but here's the core by the, co the core is the major definite purpose, which as we talked about is your income goal to break you free financially. This is the major definite purpose directly from the book Think and Grow Rich. And then right after that, the self-confidence formula directly from the book Think and Grow Rich. That is the core of the personal manifesto. So if you do nothing else, you want to print out the core of the major definite purpose and the self-confidence formula and you want to start to repeat that aloud to yourself on a daily basis with feeling and passion and vigor and belief and you do it consistently over time and what's going to happen is that magical experience that happened to me where that eternal elixir of faith came into my life that'll happen for you now as I started to see the power of what was happening in my life as a result of this, and as I started to understand how powerful beliefs were, and as I started to understand how I could actually, uh, I could actually decide what beliefs I wanted to have, I could get rid of eliminate, I could eliminate false beliefs. That's where this document for me went from the core of what Dr. Napoleon Hill suggests of the major definite purpose and the self-confidence formula. That's where it grew from that into a personal manifesto. And I, I, uh, I coined that phrase personal manifesto. If you like it, use it. If not, you can call it whatever you want. But basically it's a document that you use to grow yourself and create yourself over time as you learn new information. So, in addition to my major definite purpose and my self-confidence formula, I started to add some other things. Like, I am so happy I now see myself with vibrant health and abundant energy. I have all the time in the world to go where I want to go and do the things I want to do. And then I started to add uh, beliefs that I wanted to work on in my life because we talked about how powerful beliefs are. And I'll tell you, one of the things that really holds people back 
is their beliefs about money. People believe that those who have money are evil, they're bad, they're wicked, they got their money from stealing or lying or cheating or ripping people off. And these beliefs, they come from society. They come from the movies we watch. They come from some of the things that, that are on the news. And so you don't might not even know you have these beliefs, but I realized that I, I started, you know, I started realizing I had these beliefs that were holding me back. And if you don't locate them and eliminate them, you can be trying to do everything in your life. You can be implementing the marketing. You can be taking action. But these beliefs can actually hold you back and prevent you from earning more income. So for my personal manifesto, it's a living, breathing document where I add my beliefs on a you know consistent basis when I'm reading a book and I find a belief I'll, that I need to have that I want to have that's healthy that's good that's in alignment with the truth I'll pull it out and I'll put it in my personal manifesto so that I can repeat that idea over and over and over so that it will become a belief so that I don't just read it and say that's a good idea and forget about it it becomes a living breathing document okay um, here are some of the ones I have money comes easily to me I make decisions fast and swiftly move forward I exercise daily you know exercise I have not missed a day of exercise in probably a year and a half or two years it's because I've programmed my mind with the belief that I exercise daily so this stuff is powerful I have the ability to tell great stories to entertain and educate I realized at some point in my home business career that that people who make a lot of money are great storytellers well I wasn't a great storyteller at the time but I started to repeat this idea over and over and over I started my reticular formation was activated I started paying attention when people told a story started to look for information on how to become a better storyteller and guess what I started to become a better storyteller. So this stuff works, and it works incredibly well. And um, what I want to challenge you to do is start with, at the very least, you start with your major definite purpose and your self-confidence formula. If you want to, you can turn it into the personal manifesto over time. If you want to take some of the beliefs that I've put, put down here, feel free to do that. Uh, you know, several leaders, uh, I've seen their personal manifestos and they definitely have grabbed some of the beliefs that I've written down here because they're empowering and they want to adopt those same beliefs. That's fine too. Um, this document will work best if it's personal to you. So don't just copy down what you see from my manifesto or for other leaders manifestos unless it's personal to you unless it hits you unless it identifies with you that's when you can go ahead and copy it but it'll grow this will be a living breathing document that will grow over time and really be incredibly powerful in allowing you to grow and and create literally create be the architect of your life so Grab the personal manifesto, my friend. You can print it off down below this video, and uh, this is going to be powerful for you. I, ver I promise. And you know, here's a major warning, red alert. I've said this already in the presentation. Everything works once you get this down. Nothing will work if you don't. And when we say get this down, what are we talking about? Basically, we're talking about personal development. Uh, John Chapman, a great leader, love the man, uh, having great results in the marketplace. Yesterday on one of our calls. He said something that was very profound, and I want to I want to share this quote with you because if you'll get it right now, if you'll get this, um, you can have amazing results in your life. The person you are when you are trying to reach that five hundred dollar a month level is very, very, very different than the person you are when you're going for the twenty thousand dollar a month level. That's from John Chapman. And what does that mean? It just implies that for you to make more money, you've got to grow. You've got to develop as a person. You've got to make it a daily habit. You've got to work on your mindset every single day. And the more you do that, you'll notice the more money comes into your life. So what's happened for me since I started to apply this stuff? I've more than quadrupled my original major definite purpose income goal. The right businesses have come into my life almost against my will. Plans, people, ideas, strategies, leaders continue to be attracted into my life as I continue to very seriously focus on creating myself and my future. I'm positive almost all the time and rarely if ever does anything affect me in a negative way or get me off course from the path I'm on. My family relationships 
relationships are automatically improving and I enjoy investing time with my wife and children. I see abundance everywhere. I'm totally excited about life. We moved out of our single wide trailer house and bought our dream home with five acres of land here in southeast Idaho. Uh, and I'm living my dream and literally making great money doing it. And I attribute it all to what I've shared with you in this presentation. And as you grow, my friend, miracles will happen for you in your life. It's just the way the world works. It's just the way it's all set up. There are laws. There are principles. And when you seek to find those laws and principles and conform your life to them, uh, you'll get results guaranteed. Okay? What's happened for others? You might be thinking, well, does this stuff only work for Paul? You know, I've been talking about me and my story because it's the one I'm most familiar with. Here's what has happened with some of the other people who have really taken this stuff to heart and applied it. Okay? There's a team member who went from being broke, frustrated, and burnt out in his, as a network marketer to becoming the number one income earner in his entire company, not to mention the number one recruiter recruiting about 400 people personally in two years. There's our very close personal friend who using the major definite purpose and self-confidence formula went from being an MLM distributor to actually being promoted to president of his entire network marketing company. And if you talk to him, he'll tell you 100% this came from using the technology that's being shared with you in this video. Then there's Johnny Blaze who sponsored 57 people in a week and earned a $5,000 monthly residual income in seven days. He'll tell you the same thing. Came from this technology. Mike and his partners use this information to have their very first $100,000 month online. Yes, that is a month. And we can't forget our friend Justin, who used this information to go from making about $3,000 per month on the internet to hitting thirty and forty thousand dollar months consistently, not to mention being catapulted to rock star status in less than three months. My friends, this stuff is powerful, and here is the challenge for you. And I want you to pay attention to this because I was actually listening to a guy on a training uh, who is earning between him and his partner about three hundred and sixty thousand dollars a month? Okay, so this guy, the the other day I was listening to this training. He said this. He said most people will watch a training and they will skip the most important part of the training. And because they skip the most important part of the training, they never get results in their lives. And what did he say was the most important part of the training? It's the action step that's given to you at the end of the presentation by the trainer, okay? So fortunately, I, I'm privileged, I'm honored, I'm blessed to be having this opportunity to be viewed as a trainer and be sharing some of this information with you. This literally changed my life in so many ways I can't even begin to mention. I mean, I've shared just a little bit. So much more has happened in my life as a result of this. I'm privileged to be the trainer on this presentation, and I want to give you our challenge. This is the most important part of this presentation, okay? So pay close attention. Challenge number one, fill out your major definite purpose and self-confidence formula document. You want to print it out. should be right below this video. Print it out. Fill it out. Keep it with you. And repeat it to yourself on a daily basis, once at least, preferably twice, sometimes more if you find it necessary, and turn it into your own personal manifesto over time by allowing it to be a living, breathing document that grows as you grow. Okay. Uh, if you just want to start with the major definite purpose and self-confidence formula, start there. That is the core. And then the document can grow over time. And I mentioned you want to read it aloud at least once daily, preferably twice, with passion. And the third thing is one of the things that uh, one of the things that happened in my life is I, I noticed these amazing things that were happening in my business. I realized that I needed to study this stuff daily because the more I understood it and applied it, the more results I was going to get in my life. And I also realized the need for my team members and my business partners to pay attention to this stuff, to learn it, to understand it, to have their questions answered, to grow with it every single day. So what we did a couple of years ago 
is um, we started a call. It's called the Think and Grow Rich call. And you can actually go to thinkandgrowrichaudios.com to learn a little bit more about it. But I'm going to tell you about it right here on this slide. So you don't necessarily have to do that. But that's our home on the web, on the internet, thinkandgrowrichaudios.com. So basically what we do is every day, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific, and everywhere in between, we gather together as entrepreneurs across the world to study, learn, and apply this stuff that we're talking about in this presentation. Every day we learn new things together. Every day we lift each other up. Every day we inspire each other. Every day we clear up confusion as to how to apply this stuff. Every day we learn from each other how to move forward in a better way to get more results in our businesses, to make more money, to be more powerful, to impact more people. We do this on this call every day, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific. And what I want to challenge you to do is join us. I want to challenge you to join us. Here's what's happened to me. Beginning of 2012, we've been doing this call now for about two years. Beginning of 2012, was making X amount. End of 2012, as I record this video, it's actually December of 2012. My income uh, has literally more than doubled in the last 12 months. And I could give you story after story of people uh, who have had that happen to them as they have plugged into this call as a resource and invited their team members to this call as well. It's totally generic. There's no company names mentioned on the call, no system names mentioned on the call. So you can, it's a safe place that you can bring yourself and your teams, not have to worry about rec being recruited, not have to worry about being sold something, not have to worry about being pitched. The pure intention of this call is to come together as entrepreneurs every day with the rock solid purpose of helping ourselves and as many entrepreneurs as possible formulate, nurture, and grow the mindset of an entrepreneur so that we can be unstoppable and be those lights in the world that we are meant to be as entrepreneurs where we can help the largest number of people. Okay, So we have a live call. I encourage you to dial into the live call if you can. There's the number, 712-432-0900. Secret code is 565-762-POUND. We also have a replay in case you can't dial into the live call. If you can, get on the live call because it's powerful. But at the very least, if you, if you have a job, if you can't, you know, if you can't get on the live call, write the number down and dial into the replay every day and allow yourself to grow with us as we locate false beliefs together blow them away, replace them with empowering beliefs, and we just move forward in a major way, okay? So that's the Think and Grow Rich call. That is an action step we want to invite you sincerely with open arms to take for your own benefit and the benefit of all of those people who you have yet to meet. Uh, it's just incredibly powerful. Uh, last slide here. I just want to express gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this presentation all the way through. Uh, you know, I remember being on a, 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 a webinar at one point in time, uh, listening to a couple of millionaires in the home business industry, and they actually did a webinar on mindset. And one of the things that they said was they said, what's, what's fascinating is whenever they do a skill set training where they teach a marketing strategy or a, you know, a little trick to, uh, to, to increase your leads or your marketing, they said that the calls are always jam packed. But whenever they do a mindset training, the numbers go way down. And they said that's so fascinating because really, the more, both of them are important and you gotta have both. You gotta have mindset and skill set. But if you don't have the mindset, none of the skills are going to work. They just won't work. And so they were expressing on this call that actually of the two, mindset is, is more important because when you have the mindset down, you'll figure out the skills. You'll figure it out. You might not even need a training call. You'll just figure it out if you have the mindset. But most people have the perception that mindset is not important. Most people, when they come to a training on mindset, they, they get bored. They shut it off. They, they don't stick with it. So I want to express gratitude to you, my friend, for being a person who is not in the 97%, who watches presentation all the way through and who now understands the power of mindset and someone who is making the decision, the commitment to follow the action steps outlined in this presentation, to implement the technology given 
and to get on the call on a daily basis and engage in this process of personal growth so that your income can grow, so that your life can grow, so that you can be a light and inspire so many more people. I want to thank you for being that person and I want to leave you with my wish for you. My wish for you is that you'll discover your purpose, live your passion, and never, my friend, whatever you do, never ever give up on your dreams. Life is too short to not be lived fully. Life is too short to not go after your dreams. Life is too short to not discover the inner power that you have within yourself, even though you might not recognize it, might be a little candle flame deep down inside. But my promise to you is we can take that candle flame, we can add wood on it, we can dump gasoline on it, we can put all sorts of fuel on it, we can fan it into this massive bonfire that's going to give life to you, the people you love, and all of the people in your business, the people who will join your business down the road. That's the potential you have. So my wish for you is that you'll discover your purpose, live your passion, and never give up on your dreams, my friend. Thanks again for watching this, and I look forward to seeing you on the Think and Grow Rich call and growing rich with you and the countless number of other entrepreneurs who have made the decision that you have made today on this video. Thanks, and make it a fantastic day, my friend. Take care. Bye-bye.